Good morning and welcome to Twin Pine Auto Group. My name is Seth Burkholder and today we'll be looking at the 2009 Volvo S80 V8 all-wheel drive. Uh, just a very, very uh, nice combo of sport and luxury in this and it is very, very loaded up with all kinds of amenities I'm going to show you guys here. Uh, we're going to come in a little bit closer on the 18-inch wheels here. You can see very, very pretty wheel style there coming around to the back. Just very nice lines all over. Uh, you can see on the back you've got the V8 and the all-wheel drive badging there. Coming down the side, you can see no dents, no dings, just very, very clean. We're going to take a look under the hood at this big V8. And you can see here, very pretty. They did it in like a, uh, a polished aluminum color on here. The whole interior of the car is really what you would expect as well with uh, Volvo Luxury. We're going to start in the, uh, the front driver's side here. You can see you have the true keyless entry right here with the doors that will lock it and unlock it. And it also has a sensor behind here. So if you are locked right now, just simply put your hand back there and pull the knob and uh, the door opens right up. On the door we have the, uh, the windows, the, uh, the mirrors, and coming into the car, this is one of the most unique features. Uh, you can see it has the uh, uh, piping on there just to give it a nice trim look. But down here next to the memory settings where you can set your seat to where you like, uh, there's a couple little buttons right here. This is going to control the, uh, the lumbar, but also the massaging seat. So if you're on that long trip to keep your blood moving, uh, it does have a, a back massager in there that will run automatically. <clears throat> now coming inside the car here, uh, just going around the, uh, the instruments. We're going to see first the, uh, the headlights here. And with Volvo, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Now this V8 has uh, both 325 horsepower, so when you get on the, the gas, it really does go. It has a nice growl to it, too. This is front and rear fog lights. You have one red light that just lights up very bright in the rear, so in inclement weather, uh, you don't have anybody coming up behind you and not seeing you. Uh, the trunk and the gas release there. And the <clears throat> emergency brake is as simple as a push and a pull. Uh, it's done uh, electronically there. Now, on the interior of this, you can see the wood grain that everything's wrapped in. That is real wood. Uh, even the steering wheel. They did a, a stainless trim with the uh, wood grain out around it. On the left you have your cruise control, on the right you have your, your radio controls, volume and seek, and then you also have your Bluetooth. <coughs> now on the dashboard, uh, you can see the gauges are set up nice and clean. You can see the RPM meter jump there, and you can see the, uh, the original miles there at 43,000. Now this car is equipped with... Uh, with the GPS as well that comes up out of the dash. What a cool feature. I'm just going to let that drop right back in again. Now, as we go down the cluster here, we see the, uh, the radio. You've got AM, FM, XM. Uh, it does have an auxiliary input in the center console. Uh, you also have your phone buttons down here. You can do your dialing there as well. Uh, your climate control is set up where you can push your legs your upper body or your head depending where you want the air to come out this also does have the cooled and heated seats so you have your option on both of those um, the uh, intake there and now at the bottom here you have something that says BLIS uh, this is a blind spot protection so when you're driving down the road if you have uh, if you have anybody in your blind spot uh, it'll actually light up right here and if you turn your signal on to go that way, it'll actually give you a little beep and let you know that, that you weren't supposed to move over and wreck into them. Kind of a neat feature. There's a, a nice little clock set up on here. And just the materials that they used in here, they just went above and beyond. Where this normally would be plastic, this is actually all uh, 
uh, polished aluminum on here. Uh, inside, you have a remote for the uh, for the GPS, as well as a hidden away button. I'm going to try to get to this right behind the steering wheel. Here. As you can see, luxury all around. You do have the moonroof in this one. Which you can see is opening as we speak. A little bright today. Have that open. We're going to close that up. And all around, just an absolutely gorgeous car. Volvo really did this one right. And uh, you can see by the interior that there's a ridiculous amount of options. We're going to step just into the back seat yet and finish up back here. This is one of the few cars out there that does have heated seats in the rear as well. Uh, which is kind of nice for the kids also. I guess their booties get cold as, as well. Uh, you do have the uh, separate volume control for the radio in the back. And you have headset plug-ins back here as well. Uh, one of the neatest features on this car is you actually have uh, uh, a manual uh, setting here so that for the rear seat, for the person to get out, you can just push that and move the, the passenger seat all the way forward. And you can see how much leg room that gives you there. Uh, you also have the vents coming in the back here for, for up top, and it does have the vents down low be beneath the seats. I can't say enough about the luxury in this car. Obviously, uh, massaging seats is not something that you would normally get in your standard family sedan. If you have interest in this or any of the other cars here at Twin Pine Auto Group, simply log on to our website, TwinPineAutoGroup.com, or call us at 717-733-6548.